All right, my friend. Here we go. I'm listening to you. I think now we are live in YouTube. Not in Ramble yet, but because we don't have time to set in Ramble. So we will go and we will be listening to you. Go ahead. You said you want to debate me, right? Uh, Hello? All right. Do you, do you believe um, the Quran speaks of Je the worship of Jesus? Do the Qurans speak of worshiping Jesus? Do you believe that? Well, I believe the Quran is full of lies and contradiction. So as an example, the Quran right. in chapter 36, verse number 14, it says something in Arabic. There's no way you can read it except by saying that the Quran saying anyone who worship, who took their gods as the monks and the rabbi, instead of Allah and the Messiah. Yes. So uh, if, if this is the Quran and this is a clear Arabic, then the one who wrote the Quran, obviously he is not good in Arabic. So I know that Muslims and Islam supposedly teach that Jesus is not God. But you read the Arabic, you will see a different story. So this is a clear contradiction, right, you know. And uh, there is no way. Actually, yeah, I, I, I was talking about chapter, chapter 9, yeah, chapter 9, verse number 31, sorry. Uh -huh. You speak Arabic, right. so it says, they took their monks, their rabbis and their monks, as gods instead of who? Allah and the Messiah. Simple Arabic. The Arabic does not say that. Huh? The Arabic does not say that. It says that in a, instead of who? Instead of Allah and the Messiah. Look, 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 look. Okay. The grammar does not say that, bro. Uh, this is your grammar. This is your fabricated grammar. First of all, in the Quran, there's no fatha. Okay. There's no kasra. Listen, listen. This, this, first this, of all, first, the Quran, the Quran. First grade, first grade Arabic grammar, bro. Correct, correct. Should, yeah, should yeah, 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 yeah. First grade. Okay. Let me see if you, if you know Arabic very well. If we write the word musaitr, we write it with seen or saw. Seen or saw. What? Seen or saw. Word musaitr. We write it with seen or saw. Saw. Can you type it down? Saw. I don't have Arabic keyboard now. Why not? My laptop. I don't have Arabic keyboard. I don't know how to do it. What do you mean you don't have? This is easy. You can add the uh, the font. He, no, you said I uh, know my phone's dead. I'm not. I'm not using it now. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So what's your argument? Okay. So how the you how you know easy, how you know which one is the correct? You said you said sod, right? Okay. Okay. You said sod. Everybody heard you. Yes. You say. Or right, how you know? Yeah. How you know that this is the correct one? I heard you say it. I heard you say it. <laughs> I'm asking you, which one is the correct one? You said to me, the one with sod, not seen. How you know? You said it, yeah, because you said it. Really? What do you mean I said it? I'm asking you. I'm the, I have a question. Is the question the question is saying is it sod or seen? You said sod. I, I I did not say anything. I'm saying which one is correct. Sod. <laughs> Okay, how you know? Because I heard you say it. Ah, uh -huh. so aren't you the one who's coming to teach me Arabic? You heard me saying Saad is the correct one? Yes, you, I heard you say it, yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I heard you say it. You said Saad, you did not say seen. Ah, oh, really? Okay. So you are taking the... So now you take, you're in Arabic from me. No, I mean... <laughs> I'm repeating what you said. <laughs> no, you see, you 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 said I asked you why you are saying it is musaitar, not musaitar was was seen, not was saw, not seen. You I said you because say I heard you. you okay, not, not I'm looking at you now. Listen. So is it because I say things you take it, or because Arabic says things and grammar? Say it again. You agreed with me. Is that because I'm your master in Arabic, or because? You are ignorant. No, because I heard, no, you said. You keep saying I heard. So how come you are coming here to teach me about Arabic grammar 
But now no, you, you are saying, right. listen, so, oh, no, 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 so listen, listen, so, listen, 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 if, we, said, you if said. we go, if we go in the dictionary, what we will find, Musaitar was seen or Musaitar was sawed? Listen, huh? you said an Arabic word, I have no idea what you said, are you saying? No, you know, know what, what I'm saying. So you came to me a second ago, a second ago, listen, 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 don't, act, salt, don't right? act like a kid. Listen. A second ago, you came to teach me Arabic grammar. A second after, you are learning from yes. me. So yes. I'm asking you. <laughs> what fatha? Obviously, you do not know how to read. Obviously, you do not know how to read. <laughs> I, I just read it. I just read it to you. I read it to you right now. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, which one? Let me repeat. Let me repeat. Let, no, no, no. You see, you are, you are, you are, you are repeat. Listen, what Messiah? What Messiah? You idiot! People are laughing. Listen. So now, Musaitar was seen or saw. You said to me saw. Hold on. You said to me saw. I said to you why. You said to me because you said so. <laughs> yeah, you said so. Yeah. You so, said, no, you said, what did I say? Listen, I listen. I, so I, I, you so I, do you agree that I'm... Salt. Salt. Okay, do, that? do you agree? Do you agree that I am the master of uh, of Arabic then? And you take what I say? No. You asked me so, a question and I answered it. So, so hold on. Hold on. What, what do you mean? Uh, I'm asking, listen, I'm listen, asking listen, you listen, now, based on what? Based on what? It's You said it is salt. Okay. So based on based on what it is saw not seen. Yes. Huh? I heard you say saw. You didn't say seen. You said saw. No, the, the, the sound is the same. I said musaitir. I said saw. I did not, I did not yes, say anything. You are stupid. Seen. No, I did not say anything. Saw, I am the one who asked you. Is it saw or seen? <laughs> saw. Saw. Just get lost. I thought I thought you or somebody have something to say. It turned to be you are an idiot. Go. Let your dad come here. Okay? Don't come by yourself. I thought we got a fish. It turned to be a potato. Get out of here. We went in YouTube just for, you know, you want to debate me. The guy, you don't know even how to read the word. What a potato. They say to you grammar, but they don't know the Arabic have no grammar. You know, the Arabic, the grammar is some is the one who created the grammar for Arabic. He was trying to fix the Quran, so he make what is called the grammar to fit with Quran. But even there, it is broken. Quran is full of false mistakes. In fact, this verse here in front of us, proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Who knows why? There's a clear evidence in the front of us, in the screen, proving Muhammad to be a false man. In fact, Muhammad, he shoot himself in the foot, if not in the balls. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? So you want to talk to me? Don't talk like a kid. Okay, I will invite you again. Here we go. Now, listen. The verse in front of us exposing your prophet. Do you know why? How? How does it expose Muhammad? Okay, it says here they have taken the rabbis and their priests as gods. Correct? How that happened? Okay. How that happened? Explain to me. I'm listening. What do you mean? What do you mean? Hmm? Go, I mean, the, are you coming? Go, 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 are you go, 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 are you coming go, 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 to the stage to talk to me? What's the I before it? What's the I before it? What's the I before it? Don't tell me. I don't care. Give me the answer. Read, read ten verses before it and ten verses after it. Give me the answer. They took no, their monks. Verses one, verse four. Well, yeah, 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 no, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Read, read the whole chapter of the Quran. No problem. So they took. No problem. Abdul, listen, listen. Don't make me lose my voice. 
So either you want to speak like a dot, or you're, you're a kid. Read before it, read after it. I, I'm not the one who worried. You read it for me. So now tell me the answer. Okay. Well, he is, is saying here, they took their rabbis and their monks as God. What happened exactly? Why are you asking me? You're, you're, you're Aren't you the one who said you want to debate me? Yes. So? <laughs> so what? Just get out of here, you idiot. You, you have a debate. <laughs> you, you actually, you actually have a debate. <laughs> <laughs> Why you are asking me? <laughs> I'm really uh, so the guy he came, he wanted to debate Christian Prince. I'm here to debate you. Huh? No, no, why are you asking me? What the heck? So you came and you're excited and you want to debate me? And then I ask you a question, you ask why are you asking me? So what we would do? Play football with you? Or you are the ball. Guys, watch with me and see how stupid Muhammad is. You can open every single interpretation for this verse and you will see all the Muslims agree. All. Which is real to happen, by the way. That the Christians and the Jews, they took the command of the rabbis and the monks. They took the command of the men, not God. Instead of God, which means they made them God for them. But isn't it what the Muslims do? Allah, he says something in the Quran. Muhammad, he said the opposite in the Hadith. So Muhammad, now he exposed himself. For us as a Christians, we don't take the monks and the rabbis as God. That's a big fat lie. Anyone, he says something not biblical, we say to him, this is not biblical and you are a liar. But this is now Muhammad. He has the Quran. The Quran supposedly is the word of Allah. The Quran says something. Muhammad says the opposite. Which one the Muslim follow? They follow their God. Which one? Muhammad. So they took their Muhammad as gods instead of Allah. This is what the Muslim they practice every day. So this verse alone is enough to destroy the garbage of Muhammad. Do you see it? Do you see how stupid Muhammad is? He's a question in you, why you take a command from monk and rabbi, because they are not God, but he himself is taking command. He is making himself equal to God and he give commands. So, are you going to answer? Which one, you, which one you Muslims you follow, Allah or Muhammad? Allah. So, Allah, he said you do mutah. Muhammad says don't do mutah. Which one you do? What are you talking about? Allah don't, says... Don't come here again. Just get out of here. What are you talking about? Somebody change his diaper, please. What are you talking about? <laughs> Man, the diaper smell. Potato. No, no, get out of here. We need to bring your parents. So the stupid Muhammad, he announced himself as God. He called himself Muhammad. Muhammad means the praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, who is praised to? Allah? Hmm? The Muslims, they take the command of Muhammad and they, his command, abrogate the command of Allah. So this verse actually is about Muhammad and the Muslims. They are kuffar. They took the word of a man who always do wrong, always do wrong, including being unjust to Muslims. If you go in the hadith as an example, not limited, you will see the stupidity of Muhammad is beyond imagination.
Muhammad, he beat people. Let us see, we change the words. Muhammad, he beat people unjustly, physically. He even whipped them. Do you know the whip? This is very harmful beating. The whip will stay in your skin for six, eight months, maybe forever too, depending how much whip. De depend how much the wounds, because that will make deep wounds, will bleed. Muhammad, he beat people. He whipped them. He said the F word to them. He cursed them. And what is that? Unjustly. Unjustly. Why Muhammad? He is beating people unjustly. Read and laugh. So how Muhammad can be the one is a qualified to abrogate the law of Allah. If Allah is God, Muhammad is just a man. He do all kind of bad things, as you see, including harming Muslims. What are you saying bad on the Prophet, bro? What? You're going to get destroyed right here, right now, all right? Okay, read this hadith for me. Why your Prophet is beating Muslims? Where would you say that? It's front of you on the screen. I should have reported that two per... Is this the hadiths? Uh, no, this is Mickey Mouse. Are you a man, adult, or a kid? Man, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with Sunnis, bro. I spit on Sunnis, dude. You spit on the Sunni. What about the Shia? Are you a Shia? I love Shias. Yeah, I'm a Shia. Okay, is it true that if you wear yellow shoes, that will make your penis strong? And oh if you wear, God. you know, you have gay sex with children in Afghanistan. The Sunnis do that. Okay, if I show you now the reference from the Shia books, that the Shia believe all, all kind of crazy stuff. Are you willing to leave uh, Shiaism? So is it true that I'll, if... I will is be it, Shia, bro. Is it and, true? And what is it, why does Allah have two hands and five fingers? What does that even disprove? Um, I don't know. You tell me. Do Allah have hands? Yeah. He has invisible hands. It's so, a metaphor. Invisible? Where it says invisible? It's a metaphor for... like how Where, the Bible where, says where it says it's a metaphor. It says he made Adam with his hands. His two hands. Did he mention the word two hands? The Bible says God has hands. Well, and yeah, Jesus, Jesus, yeah, Jesus have hands for sure. Why not? He have feet. No, not, he can, not Jesus. Yeah, this is God. No, no, no. This is Father. no, no, no. This is God. Our God is Jesus. God, He says, created Adam in His image. The Bible says everything created by Him and for Him. Who? Jesus. So Adam created in the image of Jesus. Now I'm asking you. You said to me that Allah have two hands. The Quran says Allah have two hands. You said to me this is metaphorical. Where Allah He said this is metaphorical. It's implied. Where it says that? Okay, like like a clock has two hands. No, well, still they are two hands, physical. They are not metaphorical. They are metaphor. How is it not a metaphor? They don't need to tell you it's a metaphor. Well, the, 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 the clock, the clock is out. something physical, and whatever is in the clock is physical too. Okay, but they, I'm saying in the Quran they tell you that it's meta they don't need to tell you. Who is the one? Who is the one who tell you? Who is the one who tell you? Do you Muslims go by what Allah says or what you, what you like to say? Well, what Allah says, He hopes that the people reading it are smart Muslims about who invented algebra. You know, Muslims invented algebra. That is They're false, by the way. The, the one, no, that's not true. The one who invented algebra is from the Yazidi, and those are not Muslims, neither are Christians. And you Muslims are a bunch of liars. No. Yes, they are Yazidi. Nope. Yes, yeah, exactly. Second, secondly, secondly, secondly listen, listen. Okay, let us talk. You are talking about algebra too. You want to talk about mathematics? I'm saying that the Muslims are so smart. In no, they are not. I never saw. Else. I never saw a Muslim is smart. Look, if I ask you right now, I will ask you a simple question. If I say to you eight pairs of animals, what the total number is? Eight pairs. Uh huh. The, the fruit. Eight pairs of animals. What is the total number? Like 16. Thank you very much. So how the stupid Quran says eight pairs of animals and the total is eight? Because it was eight pairs. The total is eight pairs. Yeah, you said to me there are 16. Everybody heard you. 
But they're not counting all animals. No, it's counting all the animals. Hold on. Don't make it. It's even it count for us. So here we go. It says, the chapter 6, verse 143. It says, Allah created eight pairs of the dun, which means, you know, the certain animals, the sheep. Two male, female. And then two goats, male and female. And then a camel and cow. Two camel, two cows. The total is what? Eight. I ask you, as long as you are speaking about algebra too, what is the eight pairs? You said to me, 16. Everybody heard you. The total here in the Quran is eight. If you read it in Arabic, it doesn't say that. I, I am an Arab. Don't don't play this game with me. I ask you in English too. I did not ask you in Arabic. And here we go in Arabic. So do you know what it says in Arabic? Yes. In Arabic. I am an Arab. It actually means 16. Ah, it means 16. So why Allah, he says <laughs> two, <laughs> two goats, two sheep, two cows, two camels. <laughs> well, okay, you want to talk, are you a Christian, bro? You want to talk about numbers? Don't change topic, don't change topic. You are the smart Muslim algebra too. Mr. Algebra too, nice to meet you. So did your, is your God stupid or Muslim? So you are saying that your God is stupid and you Muslims are smart. You're misreading it all. It's you who told me, I asked you, eight pairs, how many they are? You said 16. Hey, everybody heard you. Yeah, but you're misreading because it meant eight pairs total. It didn't mention the amount of total. No, it I'm says that. I said to you, I mean, listen, don't play. You see, you Muslims are sneaky, very freaky, very, you know, I, I, I mean, I find the Muslims the most stupid people ever. I'm not insulting, by the way. I'm just okay, telling you. And, and Christian started don't the change, crusade. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. So now, if Allah is God, why he is using the word eight pairs if you want to say eight animals? Why he used the word, word pairs? Show me where he said the eight at the end. What? It says in the front of you. Do you know how to read? It says... Eight pairs of two uh huh. Two, two goats. Two goats. Uh -huh. So it's more than sixteen, actually. It's eight pairs of two sheep. So that's about like sixteen. No, sheep, no, 16 no, goats, no. You are you are being more stupid. Animals. You are you are being now more stupid. Listen. No, it's this a, is eight, called math. Listen now. He created eight pairs, and now he's counting you, counting to you. What are they? The eight. <laughs> He's not no, saying, he's saying that there's eight. What's eight times two times two times two? Ah, uh, just get, let your parents come to talk to me. I don't have time for kids. Get out. What the? Da, 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 da. Potatoes. A bunch of dummy. Go eat the dirt of Al Hussein. Don't forget to lick his ass. They go, you know, research right now in YouTube. Shia eating the dirt. Eat dirt. The Iraqi government, they keep putting dirt on the ground around the grave of Hussein. They eat it, they eat it. I'm serious. And the Muslims, they are the one who create anyone, by the way, is famous, they will make him a Muslim. All the famous ones, either they are ex-Muslims, and Muslim kill them, or they are not Muslims at all. It pairs actually they are more than 16. <laughs> he tried to fix it to make it more blind. I hate my job. Man, oh God, what I did. Why I have to deal with all this stupidity? I mean, can't you like hire me for some for to speak to smarter people so I can learn from them? Like we can exchange some benefit. You talk to those people, you you know, you, you learn nothing except stupidity. What kind of Arabic this Arabic is? I mean, anyone who have a... I ask him, hey, listen, so the man here to Azwaj. But by the way, he do not know I speak Arabic. So, eight pairs, how many they are? He started thinking. Maybe he did use the calculator. And then he told me 16. I said, oh, okay, this guy, he knew mathematics. That's wonderful. Finally, we have a brain. It's not rusted yet. I thought so. But as soon as I showed him the verse... <laughs> Do you remember I said to you many times, 
You cannot debate Muslim, you have to trick them to give you the correct answer. If I show him the verse before I ask him about the eight pairs, how many there are, he will deny anything. He will not give me the number 16. But now because he gave the answer already, he cannot take it back. Muslims are demonic. Satan control them. They cannot be honest in anything. So when you debate a liar, you cannot debate a liar. Nobody can debate a liar. You nobody. Because all what you need is just to deny anything you say. It doesn't say that. You can debate only a person who is honest or honest. He tell you things as it is. Okay, this is my belief. And then and only then we have a debate. Before that point, you cannot even imagine that you can really debate a Muslim. I never met a Muslim is not a liar. And because of their nature of lying, I have to drag them into the trap. Do you remember the, the story of Al Hudud? Anyone remember? Who remember the story of the hoodhood? According to the Quran, the hoodhood, and according to Muhammad's too, the hoodhood he used to go and look for water for Suleiman. He is the minister of agriculture. <laughs> I'm the minister of agriculture. My name is Al-Hudud. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. So, the Hudhud, he go to look for, and this is the name in English, Hupu? Hu, hu, hupu? Am I saying the name correctly? I'm not sure. So, according to the stupid Muhammad, this guy is copying legions from the Jews. And whatever the Jews, they teach their kids, before they sleep, bedtime stories, Muhammad put in the Quran. So the hoodhood, he go and he bring news to Suleiman about where to find water. Look like Suleiman, he was out of water. Even though we know that Jerusalem have a lot of water already, until now. I mean, there is a, there's almost a river under the city of Jerusalem, a river. So one Arab guy, he was speaking to Ibn Abbas. And Ibn Abbas was saying what Muhammad told him, that the bird can see from high distance what is under the ground. So the guy, the Arab guy said to him, how come then, if he can see what is under the ground, how come if little boy, he put some seed in a, tra in a trap, and he covered the trap with dirt. The hood would land on it, and the boy catch, her, catch the, 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 the bird. What Ibn Abbas he did? Ibn Abbas, he started cursing the man. May Allah kill you. May Allah destroy you. May Allah make you shish kebab. May Allah, you know, etc. May Allah, may Allah. The guy, he said, okay, okay, I will never question Ibn Abbas no more. The second one of them, he got him busted, they want to curse him, they want to kill him. The guy right away, he says, I will never dare to question the Quran no more. Sorry. I made a mistake. So the bird can see what is under the ground. But the child can catch the bird by putting little seeds and cover the trap with some dirt. If you go to Ibn Kathir, can somebody post Ibn Kathir interpretation for this verse? Open Ibn Kathir. 
chapter 27 verse number 20 and you will see Ibn Abbas saying if I was if I am not afraid I will be uh, people will say I will be defeated in argument but he was defeated and what he do he cursed the man and he said to him aren't you afraid Allah will make you blind The man he said back, I swear by Allah, I will never argue with you anymore about the Quran. Never again. Where is Ibn Kathir? This is Ibn Kathir, right? Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how this website function, you know, for Ibn Kathir here. This is the verse number. Yeah, I look like it. <coughs> Let's see if we can find it here. We go to Ennamil. Uh, somebody posted. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Dean. All right. The problem with this website, the text is so small, but it's okay, we will use it. Read with me. It says here, when he spoke about how he can see under the ground. It says that there's a guy, his name, Abdullah ibn Abi, uh, bin, uh, 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 Abbas, told a similar story. And among the people was a man who was from Al-Khawarij. By the way, anyone, the Muslim, they accuse anyone who opposed the stupidity of Islam, they call him Khawarij, outsiders, who his name was Nafi ibn Azraq who often used to raise an objection to Ibn Abbas. He said to Ibn Abbas, Stop, potato, I got you. Ibn Abbas was talking about what? That the bird can see even below the surface of the earth. <laughs> right? So the bird can see below the surface of the earth. So this Abdul, he said to him, listen, Abdul, potato, stop. As long this bird, stop. As long this bird can see below the surface of the earth. So how come, are you telling me, listen, listen carefully. Nafi said, are you telling us that the bird can see, the hoopoe can see water beneath the ground, but a boy can put seed on a trap and cover the trap with dirt and he catch that bird? <laughs> huh? Ibn Abbas said, if it was not for the fact that this man would go and tell others that he had defeated me in argument, I would not have even answer. And now supposedly Ibn Abbas is going to answer. You too cannot see the screen? No, you should be able to see the screen, but there's no way. Oh, hold on. For some reason, you too cannot see the screen. You are right. Why is that? Uh -huh. Okay, give me a minute. Hold on. I'm not sure why. Uh, give, me, give me a second. Uh, Okay. Okay, now you will see it, right? All right, now you will see it. I don't know why it was not working, but now you will see it. Anyway, we, we, we post the link for you guys so you can read it. Uh, so here the guy, he got him busted. That little boy, look how stupid Islam is. And look how stupid Muhammad is. Fabricating a story that this bird can see under the ground, 
you know, but, but the child, he can capture the bird. So the, how the bird cannot see the trap? If the bird can see under the earth, under the surface of the earth, not only, I mean deep, at least will be maybe uh, five, six meter, maybe 10 meter down, maybe more. So the guy, he said to him, stop you, idiot. Are you saying to us that the bird, he can see what is under the surface? Yet, a little boy can catch the bird by covering the trap by some dirt? How come the bird did not see the trap? Ibn Abbas claimed that he answered. Look what he said. Ibn Abbas said, if it's not, the, for the fact that the man would go and say and tell others that he has defeated me in argument, I will not answer. So now he answered him. What he said to him? Are you afraid from the decree of Allah to strike a person? His eyes became blind. Nafi said, okay, 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 okay. Let's not stop cursing. By Allah, I will never dispute with you concerning anything in the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> this guy calling himself Ron CB. <laughs> That's a good one. So Abdul, do you agree with the Quran that the bird can see under the ground? The mic is yours. Go. Do you want to talk? Okay. Take a hike. Do you see how stupid this religion is? And now supposedly Ibn Abbas, he refuted the guy by doing what? May Allah curse you. May Allah make you blind. May Allah, like, look what he said. If I am not afraid that he will go and say to people that he be he defeated me in the argument. Really? He did not defeat you in the argument? I would not even answer him. Is that an answer? To start cursing the guy? And then the guy said, I swear by Allah, I will never argue with you about the Quran no more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you cannot debate, you cannot defeat Abdul in argument. Are you kidding me? Mission is impossible. Oh boy. Do we have any Abdul? He is adult, not sure. I mean, you have to be six years and older. Anyone is six years and older in the age of Aisha and he's mature to talk to me. Sorry, if you are one day old, I cannot talk to you. You have to be six years and older, mature. The policy of YouTube. The video in YouTube says this video for kids. I click no. Because Aisha, she was six at the age of maturity. In fact, she was dating at the age of five. At the age of four, she was sleeping around. At the age of three, she was touching herself. At the age of two, she have her period. At the age of one, she start using makeup. At the age of six months, she use eyeliner. True story. Any Mohammedan? Nobody? Call Uthman Aka Bilal? Which one Bilal? Is that the guy who Uthman took his wife? <laughs> I mean, I will call anyone. Give, give me, give me the, uh, you know, how to contact them. Huh? Give me. I will call them right now. What's it, Yes, my friend, how are you? 
I'm fine. How are you, my friend? I'm all right. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? No, I'm Christian. I'm a Syrian. But I have one question, my friend. I just want the answer to that one. All right. Uh, can you show me where it says the earth is sphere, sphere in, the, in the Bible? Oh, okay. We can actually, the Bible speak about, but why, why this is important for you? Uh, because I have an argument with my cousin, and he says, the Old Testament says it's flat, and I says uh, that it doesn't say like that. Well, but I'm not sure, so I want this, a profession like you. Yeah, but uh, uh, but your your uh, your friend who said such a thing, uh, yeah. don't you ask him why it says uh, how like how that came to the conclusion in, in his his mind? The the thing is, he's uh, trying to search in Google, and uh, Google yeah. only says it's, it's circle or it's flat. No, no, it no. Doesn't say when he when he's searching Google, do he search? I mean, is he searching about the Bible or he's searching about something else? I believe he's searching about the Bible. Uh, okay. Uh, he, he, yeah. Did you try yourself to search about the Bible too? I tried, but I can't find any uh, verses or yeah. like that it's obvious it, it is clear. But, but I don't I know, so I, you know, for me, this. for me, if I search, it, take me, it will take me two seconds to find it. You know, if anyone, like you go right now, type in Google, you will find the answer. Yeah. Like you can go to Isaiah as an example, Isaiah 40. Uh, you can see that you can go, uh, you know, uh, to uh, Job twenty six. Uh, you know, the, m many of those things are are just um, you know scientifically accurate. So in Isaiah it says clearly the shape of the earth how it is. So when somebody says to you that the earth is flat in the Bible, that's absolutely a big fat lie. Okay, okay. we can go to right now, right now to Isaiah forty twenty two. It says it says clearly. The, the the sphere of the earth, the globe. Uh, in Job uh, twenty six seven, it mentioned even how the how the uh, how the heaven is is, is, is like uh, stretching, and according to science, the space is increased. The space every day is increasing by size, so the empty space around us is increasing. Does it say somewhere that it's stationary, like it's not moving no, or something like no, that? But no, no, no. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, then I'm I'm not gonna take more. You can go to you can go to Job. You can go to Job twenty six ten. Yeah. You can go to Isaiah forty twenty two. I will search them but, all. But I'm I'm, I'm I'm surprised. What? Why you cannot find the answers from? You, maybe you are not uh, uh, like you do not need to be a scholar. You can type and go yeah. right now. What is the shape of the earth according to the Bible? You will find the answer. Okay, I, I will try to search same that. Time, same same time, said. remember, we as a Christians, we are not believing in something because it's agreeing with science. There's things in the Bible that have nothing to do with science. As an example, we believe that Jesus is born of a Virgin Mary, correct? Yeah. Scientifically, this is impossible. Correct? Yeah, that's okay. true. Still, right. we believe in it. So, uh, uh, we, we are not going to bend the Bible to make it fit with science. We believe in what is in the Bible, whatever, whatever it is. We are not the same as the Muslims, who they play with the words to make it fit with science. We don't care really what science says. I care what the exactly. Bible says. So Exactly, same here, same here. Yeah. We believe only so, in what is biblical. Anything else is not, so it's not. Mm. I agree, my friend. All right. Okay, thank you a lot. You're welcome. You took the time. You're welcome. Okay, take care, man. Remember carefully, the Bible is not a book of science, and we never make the Bible book of science, and we don't care for what scientists they say. The scientists, they spend their life talking about the Big Bang, and now they discover that the Big Bang is a big fat lie. Even when I was in school, a kid, I learned about the Big Bang, and they speak it to you as a fact. This is the truth. So after all those years, forcing the stupidity of the Big Bang on every school, in every, every university in the world, every elementary school, it turned to be a big fat lie. Um, best, the mic is yours. 
Uh, I'm an atheist. Do you uh, do you talk to atheists? You mean atheist? Yeah, atheist. What atheist mean? Can you tell me? Yeah, basically, I don't think there's a god, uh, and the reason is, if there was a god, there shouldn't be any earthquakes. Ah, well, that's a good point. I mean, that's really. What about the volcano? Yeah, there shouldn't be any volcanoes. There shouldn't uh, be any tsunamis. Uh, okay. Why? Why? Okay. So if I made a car uh -huh. and the clutch plate is not working, I would hmm. fix it. Well, you cannot. So, you cannot fix it. You have to use. This, you have to use curry. You have to change the curry, uh -huh. the one you are using for the car, and that the car will run very nice. So what does this have to do with God? You see, uh, uh, the Earth. It's a. It's a natural thing. It have nature. There is tectonic plate, there is a pressure, they make mountains, there is earthquake. So this is not God. God can do it, by the way. God can cause earthquake and tsunami. He can, why not? But uh, we as a Christian believe that even God, he caused a flood. And he killed all every human being except one family. All of them, they died. So uh, in you, in, in, for you as an atheist, you believe that God can't be exist because of an earthquake. So, if there is an no earthquake, you believe God is exist? If there's no earthquake, uh, oh. then I wouldn't believe uh, there's a God, because uh, I would need evidence of God to believe in God. But just because God is killing His own creation uh, with earthquakes, uh, it won't. It doesn't make sense. Like a creator wouldn't want to kill his own creation why not if i made life why, why, on earth why not i wouldn't i, I wouldn't i grow a tree and uh, the, the tree is not given earthquakes and grow, kill them grow, that I, doesn't make I, logical I, sense so grow, that is a proof okay. that there is no intelligent designer because okay. this is okay. a dumb design mr intelligence if i plant a tree in my yard and this tree have nothing but bugs and never give me fruit shall i cut it off You can let it be there if if it is if if, if it isn't bothering you. But if it is bothering, it's bothering you, me. It's you bothering might cut me it off. That's because fine. I did not create them to be bugs. So when a human being decide to be become bugs, the one who created that human being who become bugs, he can destroy him. You yourself. Okay, say that again. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Well, God, He created us not to be like bugs, but when we decide to become like bugs, because He gave us a free will, like you. You decide to become a bug. You're an atheist. Okay. So now, God can destroy you. And He will. I assure you that. Okay, so if if, if, he, if he adds an earthquake, pe there are people who, who are atheists and there are people who are God believers. Don't worry. The one, in, the in one who they are, the one who the people, they are uh, God believers, they will go to heaven. The atheist, God will send him to the oven. Don't worry about the one who died because death for us, doesn't mean the end it's just a beginning so we die we still are we are fine because we will be in heaven for you you will be in the oven of fire you're an atheist that i'm i'm i'm, I'm not worried about that because that's a that's a imaginary threat you don't have any proof okay. of hell so, so i'm not worried I, I, I about wanna, i want to talk to you then about My point uh, is, do you believe you, do you believe how, how you came to existence yeah. how you came to existence so uh, we don't we don't know how Earth and life came into existence. No, you, you just said to me. You said earth. to me you need evidence. So how you don't how you how you deny God? Would no you deny God because there is no evidence according to you. But now that's yeah. the same reason you used to believe that there is no God, but there is no evidence. No, but my point is. My point is, if you ask me how life and earth and universe was built, I don't know because it happened so many years ago, it's in nearly impossible to uh, investigate. I will, use your, I will use your logic. So your logic saying to me now, I did not see God when he created the earth and the heaven and the people. So I should believe that God created them. And use logic. This is your logic because I wasn't there. So obviously there is somebody made them because they will not happen by themselves. Let us go back to zero. How how everything how everything come to existence? It come from nothing or there's something happen? 
we don't know maybe maybe the universe was always there it was eternal maybe some something happened we don't know we can't investigate that but, but no, just because every, everything, i think no everything have to have just because everything has my point let me so, my point let me complete my point your your just point is I your point is don't. your point is that god is not exist because there is no evidence but your belief have no evidence too Yeah, but your it's your it's your responsibility to prove existence of God, not my okay. responsibility. I, 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 to I, I, first of all, the reason is first of all, it's not my responsibility to prove to you anything because God He gave us a free will. It's your responsibility to find out and to believe or not. It's not my responsibility. You're being a stupid now. Right. Number two. No, I have to. I have just to make wait. a point. Okay. I have to make a point. Number two, when you are uh, uh, ignoring the reason. Which you like the reason you gave me that to believe in God is very stupid. You said to me because there's earthquake. I mean, this is very stupid. Yeah. This is not smart because what earthquake have to do with God existence or not? Earthquake. Why would a creator create Earth, creation? No. Why would so a creator? So if I now forget about earthquake. So if I now go and shoot somebody. Yeah. Is that the reason not to believe in God because I shot somebody? No, that's that's not a good good reason. No, this reason is a good because... reason because God He created me too. If God He created me, the same He created the volcano, the same He created the mountain, the same He created tsunami and sea. Well, I, He created me too, and now I cause the death of somebody. So if that is the reason, I need some time to make a point. I need to. I need some time to make a point. I'm not getting time to talk, so I need some time. You can cry. My point issue. is, no problem. You can use tissue. You cry, cry as much you want. Still, you have to provide me with evidence. Otherwise, you are just talking for the sake of talking. What make can you? Can, make how, can you? Can, make can you prove to me that there's no God? Can I make a point? Can you prove to me that there is no God? No, it's not my responsibility. It, you are claiming there is God, hell, and heaven. A second heaven. ago, you, you, agree, with a second ago, listen, a second you agree with me. A second ago, listen. A second ago, a second ago, you agreed with me. You said I agree with you. This is my responsibility to find out if there is God or not. You agreed with me just no, a minute I ago. I didn't agree. I never agreed to that. No, I never agree. agreed to okay, that. My re- point is, okay, let us re- re- repeat again, guys. Say, don't don't I invite. Don't invite anyone I to the mean, stage until we finish with this ideas. Nobody can do the stage. Can I, can I, I make make one point? So listen. Can I make one point? Okay, listen. You need to prove to me the same. Are you asking the same question? I'm using your logic. Either you are a person who uses logic, or you have no logic. Can you prove to me that there is no God? I can't, but it's not my responsibility. So, is it possible? It's, you are making fairy tales. Is it fairy possible? Fairy is it, is it possible as long tales. as so, do you do you agree that you are unable to disapprove the existence of God? Say that again. I don't know why you are slow. Uh, do you agree that you are unable to dis, to 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 prove to us that God does not exist? Yeah, I'm unable. Okay. Got, okay. I will ask you the same question. I'll open the direction. What you can prove to us? What? what you can prove to us then? Okay, so the thing is, if I say I saw a flying horse, it's not your responsibility to, to disprove it. You don't have to run to get evidence to prove uh, that there is no flying horse. Otherwise, there is a flying horse. If I claim to see a flying horse, it's my responsibility to give you the proof. You are making fairy tales about hell, heaven, God. It's your responsibility to back up that claim. If okay. either let, either you say us, either let, you say what, you don't know fairy, how, what how is fairy it, what is fairy tale in your definition? Your the fairy tale is there was a sub there was some intelligent creature who created this universe and then he created hell and they, then there okay. is heaven I, because I, this I is a fairy tale go, because there's no. I will go. It. I will go with your stupid logic. Do you believe that there is an intelligent creature? He created the spaceship. No, I don't think so. So, who is the one who made the spaceship? Spaceship. Oh yeah, spaceship has been created by humans, and they are intelligent. It, I okay. agree. But a second ago, you said this does not exist. Yeah, but we have proof that NASA creates spaceship. Okay. We have proof of okay. it. Okay, but we we, can go to no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you, you have no proof. What do you mean you have proof? Where is the proof? You can go to NASA. You can. We can actually the, see. Uh, what, 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 it. No, no, you see, you have no proof. I, I, let me explain to you what I am saying. Uh, if I say to you now, and let us say we go back on time, 2,000 years ago, uh-huh. and uh-huh. you are the same intelligent person as you claim, 
And I am the same, uh -huh. not smart person, as you claim. So, and I say uh -huh. to you, there is radio waves. Radio waves. You say to me, uh -huh. but we cannot see it. How you prove it to me? Uh -huh. How I can prove that to you? Go ahead. Um, I don't know how scientists prove radio waves. I don't know. No, no, this is not the answer. You have to tell me. Because based on your logic, something we cannot see, there's no proof of its yeah. existence. But radio wave, nobody can see. And even now, actually, we cannot see. I mean, when the machine show you like a, a frequency, but there's nothing we can see, nothing even we can feel. So it exists, but we cannot see. So why do you believe in it? So basically, if if there's a device that can capture radio frequencies, so if, and prove if, if, if the, so, if one day there's a device can capture frequency of God, you will believe? Yeah, for sure. So how you know that this frequency, the wave frequency, is not coming from God? Um. Okay, let me think. Uh huh. You want to call I mean, uh, I don't know what the scientists are claiming where these frequencies are coming from. Like, they, uh -huh. they prove that frequencies exist, but, but, but they didn't ago, tell me the A second ago, you said, scientists prove its existence. So now you are confused about where they are coming from. So is it possible that those frequencies is coming from God and the waves of energy is coming to us is coming from God? You can't prove it's not. Answer. I have an answer. I have an answer. Uh, okay. So if, 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 if scientists prove that they are radio frequencies, I, I, I would believe that they are radio frequencies. Then the next question is, uh, how do you how do I know that it is not from God? First of all, how do I know that this is from God? Someone says the radio frequencies are from God. Scientists, they cannot prove that there is wave of frequency. They cannot. There's no proof. Or what you have is a machine, and they claim that this machine is measuring frequency. You cannot hear it. You cannot see it. Is that correct? Yeah, but I can see the measurement in the device, right? But, but, but who, who said that? This, I will give you an example. If you go right now and search, you will find that NASA, they were speaking about communication with aliens. They receive aliens every day around 8.15, 8.30 in the morning in USA. They receive a frequency... <laughs> A message from the aliens and the whole uh -huh. America they are printing in the newspaper receiving messages from the alien our biggest radar capture etc in the station and then one day the microwave which they make tea with it stop working and uh -huh. the frequency stop so the stupid scientist they made big news about the frequency of alien when it was just a stupid microwave this is your science, my friend. Okay, so, so I, I, science, I, I'll answer, if, your, if your science, I'll answer your question. If your science could not recognize the difference between microwave for the coffee in the same office and what is coming from the space, how your scientists can, can discover anything? So what they say okay. to you, what they say to you, the machine is measuring, I believe it's it is there is something, but still there's no proof except what the machine scale show you. You hear it not, you see it not. And it's not visible for us, and we don't feel it. So if there if there is no machine, you yourself you cannot believe it. However, who said that this machine is giving us accurate information? Can you guarantee that? So I have an answer. Uh huh. If the machine can prove their radio waves, it still can't prove the source of radio waves. So if someone claims no, no, this that not, it is, this is not my question. God, this is not my. This is not my question. This is not my question. How the machine, how the machine, what you see in the machine, how you can confirm that this is really a radio wave, not something else? I mean, scientists will have to prove it. I, I would, I would, I would they like not, to understand how it to prove works. It. I don't know how, how that Listen, machine works. You, I don't know how you, radio wave works. Did you study it? Here we go. You agree with them without studying it. That means you're a fool. No, so, I would try so, to understand no, no, what you see, you take what they say for granted, even though you never study waves. Not really. Not, you never really. Study. not really. I don't believe in Big Bang. They they say Big Bang is true. I don't believe in that. Yes, I'm, I'm not, not asking about the Big Bang. Let's, uh, let's go back to zero. You said the, the scientists, they prove that there is waves. I said to you how? You said the machine. I said, what is the proof that the yeah. machine is really measuring radio waves, not something else? There's any proof? 
they will the scientists will give it the scientists will give it no they cannot because all what they have is the machine then I what if this machine it, then I what if this machine is moving what if this machine it, I listen what if this machine is moving for different reason uh, you just said to me you don't believe in the big bang but the machines is the one who told them about big bang the machines so the same machine mislead them and you yourself agree that the machine is giving misleading information and Big Bang is false. But now you are the same person trusting the same machine which is going to give you the waves. It's the same exact machine who told them the distance between us and between galaxies or a planet. And you and now you are using the same machine to agree with the waves, but you refuse the same machine which measure the waves for everything we see around us. So the same machine denied by you the same machine can I, approved can I by you. Can I answer? Go ahead. If the scientists prove that there are radio waves based on that machine, I would also like to know how the machine works. Explain it to me how it captures it. Okay. If they are unable to explain, now please don't interrupt. I, I, I kept quiet. Please uh, don't interrupt. Uh, uh, no, no, I will interrupt you. Talking to you is a waste of time. Let's go. So obviously you have nothing to prove, you know, all what you see, the same machine is the same one, the same machine come to you with a theory of the Big Bang is the same machine which they use for the waves. You're an idiot. So how you, how you agree that the waves are exist, but you deny the same machines which come to you with all the measurement of the waves, which based on it, they come with the Big Bang conclusion. And now because they have this telescope, going out to the space and they do not need those waves as, as before so now the telescope is giving them a vision of something they never saw before so now they come to a conclusion that their theory about the big bang is full of fictions so what was science yesterday is a fiction today and that will happen to the same science today but it's science today it might be fiction tomorrow because they will discover something new and they will find to repair what they said before and they come to a conclusion oh we were stupid we thought so your science my friend especially when you speak about space and uh, things is invisible is just a trial uh, science we try things we get more advanced in technology we can go far distance but still we are going nowhere the space is so massive and there is no human being can study it. And whatever they study for you, they did not tell you anything because they know nothing yet. So you are just being a foolish. Your scientists until now, they cannot even fix a disease, a little, little disease called Corona, make everybody have poop in his pant. The whole world go in chaos. This is how stupid your science is. You go to buy medicine, you open the medicine, there's a page, 10 pages, says side effect, disclaimer. This medicine can cause heart attack, can cause a blood, uh, uh, internal bleeding, blah, 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 blah. So where is the medicine? Where is the medicine? Are you giving medicine or you are giving me poison? So now in order to fix a problem, headache, let us say, you give me a medicine might cause me heart attack. Bleeding, dizziness, vomiting, stomach upsetting, skin rashes, I mean, you name it. So your science is a stupid science. The science we have is a trial science, which means they try things. And this is how our medical field is about. It's about trying things. It work, it work, it work, doesn't work. There's no science. The word science simply is a definition of somebody trying, or professional people, they try something. They try some substance. They try some chemical. They try to see the, 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 the effect of those things. If it work, work. If it doesn't work, it doesn't. So this is what they call science. But then you notice that the virus is smarter than their science. The virus, it changes its nature. So the vaccine they give you today is not going to work tomorrow. The spray you use to kill a fly 
10 years ago, it doesn't work to get a fly today because the flies became more immune to your spray. So your science is a very failure. Those who believe in science, and by the way, I'm not against science. I'm not Taliban from Afghanistan. We support knowledge, schools, studying, uh, fighting diseases. But we are talking about that the human being, when he thinks he has knowledge, he is just a fool. It's a sign of foolishness. Human beings know nothing. It doesn't matter how advanced you will become. Always you will find yourself so short of knowledge. And that is God. The proof of God is how limited you are. Because who is stopping you to become God as long you are a person who believe within you, believe in you, believe in your ability, but yet your ability is nothing. That to prove who you are. You are nobody. And there is someone who made you. Someone is extremely intelligent. Until now, there is no camera in the world can do the work of your eyes. No camera. No camera can give accurate colors. No camera can capture colors as your eyes. There's no science can explain feeling. Why? Because this is a creation of God. They will tell you those nerves connected to the brain. That is not explaining the feeling. That's explaining how the sense move, but how the feeling, how the how the brain translate this feeling into something emotional, love, happiness, hatred. Why an animal? Why a chick? Why a chicken def defend her chick? She's a chicken. Why the cat, she carry her babies with her mouth from place to place to hide them from the male because he will kill them. No science can explain the power of God. Why a mother, she love her child even though he is ugly, stupid. Maybe even he will neglect her. He, maybe even he, one day he will kill her. But when he gets sick, she cry for him. No science can explain that. And when you are an atheist, you are denying the very nature God gave you. That you have emotion, you have a feeling, you have ethic. All of this scientifically is not accurate. Because science can explain to you how you feel pain because something touched your skin. But science can't explain to you why you feel pain when nobody touched you. Why you cry for something you saw, it sounds sad for you. Animals don't do that. So I find atheists are very self-stupid walking machine. They argue just to argue, like the Greek in the old days. They come to debate just for the sake of debate. To practice a skill of debating and they will debate the second day about the same topic and then the same they do this the third day is the fourth day the fifth day they will never give up because simply they are practicing skills of argument but they are not really debating to learn to reach themselves with with, with, with knowledge no the point is just debating so almost then the same as an atheist. Each one of them, he have his own theory. And then they cast on you, they say to you, your theory is wrong. But they cannot disapprove our theory. When he said to me, it's your duty to prove to me God. No, it's not my duty, it's your salvation. You go to hell, you go to heaven. If you don't want to believe, don't waste your time, don't believe. 
Time will come and you will find out. You will be able to find out. It's time, time will come. Same time for me as a Christian. If I say to you, I have no proof of God, I will be lying to myself. Everything around us, there is a proof of God. The birds making a nest is a proof of God. This bird did not go to school to study engineering. Did not go to school. He's not born going to school learning like a human being. Human being need a training. Human being even cannot speak unless he social with some people who speak a language. Bird do not need it. Bird, he can make a nest, can match a speed of 100 mile wind. Hurricane. Top engineering. This little bird using only his beak. He don't have hands and fingers like us. You don't have tools, yet he can engineer a nest which can resist all natures. How the bird learned that? There's a super intelligent designer who programmed those creatures to be educated about their survival. The same as the duck swim, the same as the bird fly. Everything around us is super extremely intelligent design. The trees, look at the trees around you. So when they ask you what is the proof of God's existence, the proof for me, everything around me, proving that. Your science could not explain any of it. After a thousand of years of human history, your science is still so stupid. And for me, stupidity is not from God. Stupidity is from you. Anyway, so today we had uh, we had uh, an atheist. And you know, if we tell them there's miracles happening in the name of Jesus, they say we don't believe. Right? But we know that there is always miracles happening in the name of God. But for him, even if you show it to him with his own eyes, he will not believe it. Because he decided not to believe in God anyway. So it doesn't matter what you show him. But he have no problem to believe in waves, something he cannot see. Something he cannot touch. Something he did not even experience. It's just because there is a scientist, he told him, this machine, do you see this thing moving? This is the waves. He took it for granted. So, the atheist, in fact, he is a believer without the proof. He believes in things have zero proof. And the same reason he claimed to reject Christianity or the existence of God, he said there is no proof. They believe how the earth is created, but there is no proof. Nobody was when the earth is created. Nobody knows how it is. You take what they say to you for granted. An atheist is a fake believer in a fallacy. As long as you need to witness and you need to see and you need to prove an evidence, what is the evidence of what you're saying? Nothing. Anyway, oh, by the way, he can win the argument with me in two seconds. Like once I was debating an atheist, he asked me, do you like banana? I said, yes, I made a mistake. And then he said, see, Darwin was right. 
the origin of a man was a monkey. Advanced science CP has knowledge of potato when it comes to science. Well, my friend, your science is a farting science. In fact, your science costs farting. Go check how many medicine the scientists they make for you, it costs gas. They can't even eliminate the gas. Oh, <coughs> I, they gave you medicine for what? All this medicine for your throat. So I'm farting. Oh, so we forgot to tell you there's the symptoms of farting. So your science is a science of idiots. You can't even find one medicine in this earth does not have side effects. Some of them, they are horrible. Where is your science? How many billionaires they will die this week? Evolution is the key of what we know. Well, in order to know the evolution, you have to know what was before the evolution. Do you have any proof? Evolution. <laughs> the human being used to be a monkey. So why we still have monkeys? Stupid people. How come a human being? Okay, I like to fly. Evolution says that the reason for change is the needs. Okay, wonderful. The first, the, the, the simple sales, like paramecium as an example, the reason for those to have gender, what? The atheists, they say, or scientists, because they need, they want to multiply, but they are multiplying without sex. The sales split itself. There's no need to have a penis and a vagina. And they say to you, this is how stupid they are. They say it takes millions of years for that to happen. So imagine a little tiny cells with a plan. I'm going to keep changing slowly. And after 20 million years, I will be a male and female. And we will design a vagina in this shape. And I will design a penis in that shape so they can fit each other. And when the male have sex with the female, I have to create inside the male something called desire. And then that desire causes ejaculation. And then the ejaculation makes the sperm come out. And then the sperm is designed in a very smart way, will go inside the female vagina. And then I will design a little box. It's called womb. That box will hug the, uh, the, uh, the, the egg, which is uh, fertilized by the... I mean, look at the stupidity. All of this is designed by the cells itself. So the cells went to the workshop. She wrote in papers what the design will be. 20 millions from, young, from now? 20 million years from now? Who, who in the world will believe that? Right now you are not a cell no more. You have a brain, you have hands, you have arms, you have eyes, you have computers. Can you design wings for yourself? When you are going to grow winds, stupid people. Yeah, very easy. You can grow wings. Eat eat uh, eat eggs, and you will have them. A lot of eggs. Once I went to a town in the beach, and it's far away. I mean, this uh, house far away from the city. I, th I told the driver to pick me up after three days. And supposedly they left food for me in the house. So I opened the fridge, there was only eggs. So I was eating eggs, only eggs, for three days. There's no other food. By the time I left the beach house, I felt like feathers is coming out from my shoulders. Anyway, so guys, I will be back later, maybe at night. We don't want to stay here too many hours. Uh, I will see if I can I come back late, later. And... Uh, 
Today we have some potatoes, one Muslim potato and the other an atheist idiot. Atheist for me is more dangerous by the way than Muslims. Way more dangerous. The most corrupt, stupid ones ever is the atheist. That's why you see actually the Muslim, they use them. Like if you go right now, they're striking free Palestine. Who is the one joining them, free Palestine? You will not find one person who is true Christian, he will join them, opposing the Israeli army, doing the right thing. You will find only stupid atheists. Because they don't know what they are doing, what they don't know what they are talking about. They are supporting terrorists who they are would be happy to kill every single one of them. Atheists they kill babies and then they speak about genocide. They vote for abortion and they cry for people in Gaza. Which means they kill their own babies, but they cry for someone else's babies. This is how stupid those atheists are. For me, atheism is an act of stupidity, of self-destruction. Alright guys, we will see you later again, maybe in a few hours. Until then, I want to say thank you all for being here. And until we see you soon again, we pray that the Lord we will have a good weekend, all of you, with your family and your friends. And uh, I have to do some more work. And we will be back soon. I hope so. Kabich. And Muslim, next time you want to talk to Christian Prince, you better be ready. Sharp your teeth. Bring your tools with you. Playing dumb with me doesn't work. It doesn't. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that. And see you soon.